Hi, I'm Hope. I'm going to show you what I'm putting in my carry-on personal item when I go on a plane. I'm getting ready to go to London. I am so excited. We're going in a couple of weeks and we'll be there right after the coronation. So we're going to get to see everything exciting that's been going on over the past couple of weeks. First of all, my carry-on is my favorite backpack. This backpack is a High Sierra backpack that slips, uh, that zips onto the front of my High Sierra 21 inch roller bag. I love this backpack and look how deep it is. I can put my arm into it all the way up to the, my elbow and pass up to my shoulder. So I'll be able to get all my carry on items in here and have lots of room left over to bring things back. Got to buy some tea, chocolate, a couple other British things. Uh, maybe I could fit a TARDIS in here too. Anyway, that's the bag I'm going to use. Now, first thing you want to make sure that you have in your bag is your personal carry on. Now I bought this one on Amazon. It's one of my favorites. This is a fanny pack that I got. Let me turn around so you can see it. This is a fanny pack that I got. It's about $18 for the large one. And I also have the small one in the same size I use every day. But this fanny pack is going to keep me from having to go digging under my seat whenever I need something. I'll put all my important things in here and it will fit in my personal item right in the bottom with plenty of room left over. Now in this fanny pack, I will have in the front pocket, my lip balm to keep my lips going good. I will have tissues. Oh, they fell out. Well, I'll have a pack of tissues they're usually in here <laughs> I will have my mask always take a mask with you. you never know when they'll ask you and say you'll need it so always have one and you might feel more comfortable having it on the plane also what else do I have in here I've got my little bracket to put on the back seat so I can put my phone on there and watch my movies in peace in case I don't like what's on the entertainment center got this on Amazon $9.99 very nice clip and it's pretty sturdy I've had it for quite a while now Hand lotion, because your skin gets really dry on new flights. So you want to have you some hand lotion, keep yourself moisturized along with your lip balm. Uh, I also have my a little case of my favorite dental things called placards. Put a bunch of them in this little box. I love these. They're flossers, and they got a little toothpick on it. I also keep in my bag a uh, little toothbrush. It's a fold-up toothbrush. Let me see if I can find it so you can see it. Well, you know what it looks like. It's hold up toothbrush. It's about this big, and you put the handle on there. And I, so I can brush my teeth before I get off the plane at my destination. Hand sanitizer. Always have a little bottle with you because you can also use this to wipe off your uh, tray table with a tissue if you run out of uh, if you run out of uh, disinfectant wipes. You can use that in a pinch. Also have disinfectant wipes and makeup remover so you can freshen your face before you get off the plane uh, and wipe your tray table off in case you need it. Always have that. I also have my backup battery pack. I love this one. I can charge my phone two times with it. Now that we've seen some fraud with some people saying that uh, they can steal your information when you plug into those portable uh, towers in the, air, in the airport, take one of these with you. Save you a lot of trouble. Uh, oh, there's my toothbrush right here. <laughs> uh, got a little nail file. I always have a little one with me in case I need to file something. And the most important thing you should have in your fanny pack. It will stop all fights on the plane and keep you sane. Noise canceling earbuds or noise canceling headphones. Get you some. Trust me on this. It drowns out the plane noise. You can listen to your own movies and music and it will drown out the crying babies you don't want to yell at the crying babies because they can't help it so you'll be nice and comfortable and quiet and you won't hear all the crying and the yelling and the carrying on and the fussing noise canceling earbuds or headphones get you some you can get them anywhere just get a pair you will thank me for this keep them in your fanny pack also in my fanny pack I have a little makeup br uh, brush bag that I got at Target in the travel section. I've got the bigger one with it as well, so they match. I'm a girl, what can I say? But in here, I keep a pair of corded headphones. There you go, corded headphones. In case you run out of juice, if you have Bluetooth headphones. I have Bluetooth uh, earbuds too, but I like to bring the corded ones, so I always have a pair of headphones. Also, a plug with USB or USB-C, whatever you use, get your little portable plug like this so you can plug in in case you need to. And uh, your cord to plug your, to charge your phone and your 
cord to charge your uh, your watch. You want to make sure you have both. So you're looking, you got that all ready to go. All of this will fit in my fanny pack. And what I will do is take this fanny pack out of my kit, my personal item, throw it on the seat, put my personal item under the seat, put my fanny pack on the seat, along with my little snack bag, with my little snacks, and we'll talk about snacks in a minute, and then I'm ready to go. Everything that I put in my fanny pack, this is for money. This is an RFID wallet I got online. I love it. Uh, it has a neck strap with it. So I can put this on around my neck and put my spending money for the day and my credit card for the day around my neck and put it on under my shirt. That way when I'm at the store, I can just pull this out around from around my neck and keep it around my neck, make my purchases, put it back under my shirt and move on. Always have your money bag. Rick Steve says this is your deep storage and he is right. You put in there a copy, a paper copy of your uh, travel itinerary and your plane ticket so you have everything you need. I know you can put it on your phone. I like it on my phone too, but always have a backup. Put that in there, your passport in there, and your extra money that you're going to be spending throughout your trip, your deep storage. Put it around your waist, underneath your yoga pants, you're good to go. Also in my fanny pack, I put my Kindle. It fits right in the back pocket. I love it. I love this thing. I got, I'm a reader, so I have all my books on my Kindle. And I, what I do is I put a pop socket on the back of mine so it's easier to hold so you don't drop it. Best purchase ever. You can put all your books on it. Get you one, child. If you're a reader, you will be so happy you did. I also like to color as well. So I got me a couple of these portable coloring books. They're not very big. See, I'm about the size of my head. But they weren't that expensive. They were Joanne Bassford coloring books. So I bought a couple of these. They were like two, three dollars a piece. They were a present. And I also bring my coloring pens in this tin. I got this tin from jetpins.com. Love, love it. Carries all of my portable uh, coloring pencils and my watercolor brushes. So I have them all in here, close it, and I put a rubber band on it because I dropped it one time when I was in the airport and that was just a disaster. So I put a little rubber band on it to keep my pencils in there. And then I have this makeup bag. I use makeup bags a lot because I get them for free a lot. So I put all my stuff in here and it'll fit in my carry-on and doesn't take up that much space. I also have my sharpener, a little fold-up pair of scissors. They haven't been taken from me yet, so Good thing to, uh, to carry with you. And my book light, it's flexible. It's a little book light. You get that at the bookstore. I always have one of these because it always comes in handy. I can use it with my Kindle. My Kindle has a light, but I can use it with that. I can use it with my coloring. And I keep it in my purse when I'm traveling in case I need a little extra light to see somewhere around the corner or anything. So I keep all that three in my uh, little mini craft bag. Locks, always have locks. I normally don't lock my suitcase, but sometimes after I buy all my goodies when I'm in, in flying internationally, I lock it up if I have to check a bag. But normally I don't check a bag, but I always have a couple of locks just in case. One time I went to Europe, I had to buy a suitcase because I bought too much stuff. Came in handy. <laughs> also my travel pillow, which is, uh, what is the name of this travel pillow? Let's see y'all can see. It is called Atami, Atami. And this travel hip pillow I've had for years. You can put it around your neck. It supports your neck and it's very comfortable. It's made out of like a, that microfiber foam and everything. I love this. I, and it folds up into its own bag. So what I do is when I'm finished with it, I fold it up. And it folds a little smaller than that. I just can't hold it with my hands. And I put it in this little bag with a rubber band around it. And then when I'm ready to use it, I pop it out and it's ready to go. Also, my eye mask. I like wearing this on the plane if the lights stay on and I want to take a little nap. This eye mask is made by, let's see, it is made by Bucky. I love this thing because it leaves a little divot on the inside so you don't uh, squish your eyes while you're sitting on the plane. So that works perfect. Let's see, what else do I have? I've got these. I think I told you about these. Your wipes for your face and your wipes for your tray table, just in case. And I have an extra little baggy that folds out. It's like a little, you know, shopping bag. I have one of these just in case you might want to put your snacks in there or something. Snack wise, I have a fold up cup. I love this cup. A friend of mine gave it to me. Let's see if I can get it open. I couldn't get it open earlier. Okay. It comes, it comes apart like this because I like to have tea on the plane sometimes. So it pops out 
It's made out of silicone. It has a, a cuff for it so you don't burn your hands. You put it on the, on the cup like this, just move it up. Get you some uh, hot water, bring you some tea bags with your snacks and some stevia or whatever sweetener you like. Top goes on top. Voila, you got yourself a teacup. Perfect. So, and then it pops back down when you're done. Also, put your liquids bag, and I got these on Amazon. This is a really cool bag. I got three of them for like $8.99 or something ridiculous. This is a good bag. It's very high quality, got a good zipper. And I've cut my liquids down a lot, and I'm looking at it now. I may be able to cut them down a little bit more. I'll let you know when we get to the suitcase. But you put this in your personal item so you can just whip it out, throw it in the bin, going through TSA, take it back out, put in your personal item, and you're good to go. That's about everything that I'm going to put in my personal item. Once I put all those things in there, I will have plenty of room left over to put my souvenirs in there when I come back. Uh, we'll do the suitcase a little bit later, but thanks for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you later. See ya!